All right, Grinks, enjoy us. Happy New Year. All right, so tonight's uh, connection is uh, uh, the Wizards, uh, Moldavite, uh, Dinosaur Laboratory, Pyro Lifetimes, and uh, Crystal Time Travelers. Is there anything else? Anything, anything else you can think of? Um, so, yeah, uh, like um, dinosaurs. Now, uh, you think of like lab rats, basically. Um, and there's a lot you can do, like with a dragon energy, you can say, but you know, it shows how genetic engineering is engineered. Um, especially when they different ways of looking at it, but obviously there's dinosaurs on different reality, different worlds already created by life, but then you know reptilians and get involved with, or other beings get involved with it and create their own dinosaur species. Uh, you know, like your uh, Jurassic Park, basically. <laughs> Maybe not exactly like the science is at Jurassic Park. I'm not sure if any of that really makes any sense. But either way. Um, so, uh, but uh, yeah, Jurassic Park's pretty much, uh, yeah, give me talking to us, basically. Uh, so, Parallel Lifetimes and Crystal Time Travelers. So, Wizard Moldavite will go into um, the Wizard Realm and wherever they want to, uh, how far they want to go into that. That just, their realm of, uh, astral connections what what that can bring in and they'll probably even talk about the dinosaur realities too uh, at least the dragon side of it and parallel lifetimes maybe dive into a little bit of that and crystal time travel for get to a crystal being and see where that goes so um that's all i can think of for the moment Again, feel free to let me know if there's any other ideas. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd turn that off. I was testing my uh, I was testing my mic out. Uh, so I'm talking to come our prior sessions. Yeah, about uh, Google Hangouts, Zoom, and Chime by phone. And for questions, oh, come on. Uh, for questions, I'm on uh, the 25th currently. Uh, same situation here. I have the webinar signed up. Uh, social network and the comics and uh, behind the scenes. Okay. Hopefully all is good. Okay. Hopefully this thing is recording right. So, all right. So, <clears throat> we might connect to a planet energy also. We'll see how things go. You know, Peril Live or Peril Worlds. We'll go into some of that because it seems to be coming up. Oh, yeah, for Peril um, World. Yeah, that was right because that came up. I was thinking about that and then it came up as a question uh, for Peril World. So, yeah, looking back in the past, or it's always going to be a Peril timeline. I mean, we're all individual here, so we're all going to see, you know, Yeshua differently, you know, if you're going to see every Romans differently, you're always going to see something a little bit slightly different. I mean, when you think about it, it makes it a little bit more interesting and just your boring history. I mean, interesting history is interesting, but it does get a little bit more interesting when you're seeing, you know, Rome was where Egypt was, that Egypt was where Rome was, or something, or the Egyptians were Roman or something like that. Romans built the pyramids, whatever. You know, stuff like that makes things a little bit more interesting. Let's put it that way. So, it just looking at things a little bit different. I mean, if once we go into like a higher vibration of fourth dimension, uh, when we can talk about this stuff on a, you know, with everyone, is the past ever going to be one timeline or is it going to be like dozens? Probably dozens. It's just the way it is. And we just got to get used to looking at it that way. I mean, these are multidimensional beings we're channeling anyway. And uh, they look at everything multidimensional. So, yeah. 
see how that goes. So, all right, blessings. Here we go. <clears throat> Doesn't bring in Merlin. He seems to be a popular one. I can kind of the was recollect up also. All right, blessings. <clears throat> Greetings. This is Merlin. Maldivite. Is I believe it's very small in your world. Now, some say the aliens brought it here, but Maldivite is not everywhere, but it is in this universe, you say, floating around. It finds itself on worlds, it comes from parallel realities, it comes from different universes. You can think of like a Maldivite planet. <laughs> So it finds its way. It's like for a crystal energy, what can it contribute to your world? Can it make it hell or can it make it paradise? Or can, can it do a little bit of both? Um, some like to be challenged by stones, such as, I don't believe many have really thought about it this way. So you're on a planet, everybody's living the good life. Well, in theory. <laughs> and then all of a sudden this, we'll just use Moldavite, for example, lands on your planet. Is there an asteroid, whatever it might be? And all of a sudden, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Those are fun realities. <laughs> So Maldivite is, yes, in connect to darkness and light. It is known to connect to darkness very much. Well, at least it it opens up those doors. It just it just has that ability. Now you can connect to the higher realms with it also. You can do that with any stone. But think of like on a a wizard staff. Of what's at the top of it? Well, some wizards have a Maldivite stone. And usually they're very big. They're not like your little stones. There's a different type, but I believe the most popular is the smaller ones, but there's dozens of kinds. But Maldivite, depending on the type you have, can easily open doors to the war realms, and if you understand it, it's like, look, the war realms exist. Here's a doorway. So crystals are a way for the spirit world to speak to you. Of course, they do connect your world through sacred geometry. Sacred geometry is still because spirits use, Im, you know, they use images. Of course, they use numbers also, but even in math, some math is used with numbers or images. And either way, <laughs> sacred geometry is very part of your genetics. I mean, imagine if you have, look at your skin and or your arm or wherever and feel like a sacred geometry energy. It was like, if you see that in my hand, a sacred geometry energy. You combine that with Moldavite and you really can see the spirit world. <laughs> As you see the spirit world, it's seeing that the war realms have to be I won't call it dealt with, but understood. It's part of existence. Many can to the positive, but as far as in spirit, spirit world allows the war realms. Of course, you call it the war. We'll just call it the war realms. It's easier to understand. <laughs> I mean, you can call it those that just feel like they know everything. <laughs> the know everything realm. <laughs> we'll just call it the war realms for that matter. <laughs> And many of them are kings. Many of them are powerful people, at least in their right mind. <laughs> well, because they want all the power. They are very selfish. But, you know, if, if, the, if the positive people are not going to bring in that energy, why not some of us do it instead? <laughs> so they take it when it's like all this power, all this magic everywhere. 
can it all just be mine? And some try it and say, well, now it's all mine because <laughs> nobody wanted it. I mean, they thought it was for everyone, but yeah, but I took all that away. Now it's just for me. <laughs> and that's pretty much how your world was developed, well, at least into what it is today. I mean, Atlantis had crystals and knowledge everywhere. Enjoy it while it lasts, when somebody comes in or some bodies come in and take it all away. <laughs> and that's pretty much why you are the way you are. And yes, Mars plays a big role in that. Well, Mars is a youngster, but very powerful. It's still a kid, but man, is it pack a punch. <laughs> so showing your planet, well, basically, it created divorce. <laughs> Your world created marriage for your planet, but then Mars came in, created divorce, and created laws, and opened up the lower realms. So you were used to that place because, you know, we call it home. <laughs> you have a devil there. Of course, a lot of that comes from Saturn, but, you know, now we have a devil. A lot of even Martians are calling themselves devils or saying, in fact, matter whatever it might be. But yes, Moldavite is another... So, so Moldavite mixed with sacred geometry. Even sacred geometry on a, on a wizard staff is another... Well, it can be just in the staff itself engraved into it. You can, you know, it's all different form. You just find the form that works for you. Or just put in intentions of creating your own sacred geometry, which you can do. So... Now we're just sacred geometry. Yes, is just basically you can say like also the like the tattoo from the spirit realms. Yes, they're also connected to water, as the water realms. Even the water realms, you can even like have a lake in the form of a sacred geometry form. That can be very powerful on our planet. I believe at one time there was something similar to that. So like what you have with your crop circles. So why don't you have a lake like a crop circle, where it's just water, but it's a design. Instead of having crops, you just have a water design. And now, you know, look at that. That also, also opens up a portal, as all water is a portal. Grass is a portal to a certain degree, but water is always connected to higher dimensional knowledge. It's one way to get knowledge into your earth. Uh, through Akashic records. But of course, there's all different types of Akashic records to download into your world. But the oceans are excellent place. As you know, the oceans do change things, change land masses, shift your world around. You don't see a grassy land doing that. You see the oceans doing it. You're worried about your polar shift. And what is going to move everything? Yeah, once again, it's water. <laughs> so you don't have... You'll have continents doing moving things around. Of course, you have earthquakes, but the oceans still are king when it comes down to it. They can flood everything. I think you have an idea. Grand Canyon at one time was flooded, as you can get an idea of that. Your dinosaur energies, yes, those are dinosaurs are the petri dish of reptilian creation so if you're a reptilian being you want to show everybody you got stuff uh dragons are telling you that you're dra dragon family tells you like you know you don't know anything <laughs> it's like oh, you're just reptilian. you don't know anything. you're nobody and then you create and then you go into the laboratory and create a dinosaur and then everybody starts to look at you a little bit differently <laughs> dinosaur is Developing it, depending on how you go about it, is, you know, because there are dinosaur games with the reptilians, but they have dinosaur beings actually being the crap out of each other. <laughs> For sport. <laughs> Obviously, it was more like the T-Rex, but just give out. Imagine that. See what you're missing out on? <laughs> Especially when the dinosaur goes after the people. <laughs> and they don't care that you created them or not. <laughs> So I'll give you another aspect of your. So dinosaurs are yeah, it's, it's genetic. It's yes, there are worlds where dinosaurs are already. You know, when a world is created, dinosaurs are just formed slowly through evolution. Uh, they can even create a human. Yes, through creation, probably. Of course, understanding that not many of us have at this time, but this are, it's just like it's just there. <laughs> All of a sudden, you have a Theanderthal just there. 
and you always don't know why it's, you know, some mysteries are better just to leave a mystery. Uh, there's even creation in black holes. So spirit world just has a way of doing it, you know, it's creating its masterpiece. Even this world is a masterpiece, as difficult as it is. Of course, yes, you do test spirit great. This world tests spirit so much. <laughs> Even in spirit world, sometimes it's a day off. <laughs> As you guys want your own day off, it's like, man, we would need, our, we need like a year off. Your spirit world feels the same way. <laughs> well, because you're testing them on levels that... This is how spirit beings get stronger and faster in their own abilities. Even if they might mess up everything, it still advances them. Even if you fire them or get new ones, whatever it might be, they still improve. One moment. So your parallel lifetimes. Obviously, your world is having difficulties pulling that in completely. Of course, you have your clones, uh, but your parallel versions of yourself. Think of Agartha, where you can actually materialize another version of yourself there. Which can happen. Uh, you can call it cloning if you want. You can call it whatever. You want. Now, why would you do that? For various reasons. <laughs> uh, either you're not getting along with everyone, or you just want to play tricks with others, as some do. And I believe there is a movie about this too, where you can take a person and have another being possess them. You can do that too, in a Gartha. Uh, yes, that is a wizard energy where they don't care about anyone's space. I mean, that's true selfishness. To bring in another of you know, yourself, if you want, or someone else to possess someone. And wizards of Agartha said you have powers of like that. Obviously, I don't want to go into details within it. But the Agarthan realms are so vast. Think about Agartha where it goes on forever. Like, I know you have a country, but it's like, if you like, you go, I don't believe this is ever mentioned about Gartha, but like here you go to different countries, different states, and you feel like, oh, that's all we got. I've been all over the world. Agartha co continues to go on forever. So when you go to the surface world, like yours, you might find yourself on another planet. <laughs> So, because they're all interconnected. Blessings. Breezy, greens. We are crystal beings from Agartha. The Maldivite, yes, is a part of us, is a part of all. Maldivite has a mind of its own. So it is a part of creation. There are Palladian beings that actually worship Maldivite. Now, how did Maldivite found itself on your planet? Well, Nobody, I believe, really knows. Some do take credit for it. But it was created with your Earth. As far as we know. That might have come from another universe. But the, what matters most is what it can do for your own energy, your own enlightenment. Yes, what door you wanted to open within yourself. If you open up a, a lower dimensional world, that world was there for you to open to begin with. And that, that had the key to it. So is there something what you're looking for? Now in the higher realms, now crystals are, can also take you to the spirit realm. I believe that was mentioned. Even the, yeah, it's the higher dimensions, but also the spirit realm where everything is pretty much created. Uh, the creator beings, basically. Now, do you, now, you can say everyone's a creator being. But... Some aren't always ready to create. Yes, you have children. That's one way of creation. But to truly be a creator being where you're creating trees and 
you know, nature creation is one thing, but society, world creation is a whole different story. A lot of souls, like the newer ones, just want to be involved with it. But some of you, as you get more into your, as you get older, we become like a trillion years old in Earth years, which is actually still young. <laughs> a trillion years old is nothing. <laughs> it truly is nothing. There's no numbers, I believe, on your planet that can describe how old a soul can be. <laughs> so, I mean, we're getting sidetracked as I speak about this. <laughs> Some reason your pig beings wouldn't say something. <laughs> they interfered. <laughs> well, I guess we'll talk about them now because they just showed up. <laughs> well, yes, humans are, yes, part of the pig family. I know this is like off topic, <laughs> but it's part of your growth. I believe there was a pig somewhere. Or someone dropped on someone's house or something. <laughs> So imagine, yes, a pig world where, yes, it's kind of insane. <laughs> that some of you might not even want to see for yourselves just yet. Well, because, yes, yeah, there are pig societies, basically, where, yes, there are kind of mercenaries. Some of them are very kind, but others are kind of animalistic, just like your world. You got a lot of your traits from pig plants, and some of it comes from uh, Maldek. <laughs> it has not been explored, I don't believe, too deeply. <laughs> As there is a Meldek connection, as Meldek was the planet Meldek was very much part of taking things to an edge, <laughs> pushing his world to its limits, which was allowed in this galaxy universe. And so Meldek was not the only one that's done this, but you can say when Meldek was destroyed, it brought a lot of interest to your planet. It's like, where can we go? Because there was, there's just like you have a direction in your life, but nothing's ever written in stone. Same as a planet. We were going to go this way, but after that happened, after a planet gets destroyed, we're going to try something different. <laughs> so it's like we want our own destruction, but maybe not exactly. <laughs> but we want to go through, learn where that type of mind comes from. As there's many, you have those people here too. Those that are part of the destruction of Meldek are now in your government here. They're very much part of your 1950s, setting off bombs and things like that. Well, we did on Meldek, why not on your world? <laughs> that tells you what had your entrance you have on your planet. The entrance exam, the resume of the soul. <clears throat> But the reason why we big bring up the pig energy is because some of them were pig people. <laughs> well, that one sit with you for a while. Yeah, pig beings are showing planets. And now, yes, you have them at a local cookout. <laughs> they don't always respect themselves. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of darkness within many beings, not just yours. Is reptilians, but it's also with others that don't really go mentioned very often. There's a part of what can the soul handle. Now, if you want to see these beings here, there's a possibility that happen eventually. Some have a difficult... Well, because when you have an alien being, like a pig being, causing difficulties for you, sometimes you read about it, it's like, I don't want to read about this. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's not true, it's not there, it's just some souls don't want to go through. <laughs> so we're just putting that. Some just say, like, oh, that's just there's no way. Um, if you need physical proof, I imagine they'll find some way to bring it to your world. <laughs> I'm not sure if you want that just yet. And for your dinosaur laboratory. Energies. Well, yes, we go back to your Moldavite. Well, Moldavite is also to add to that is used for, you know, creation and destruction, <laughs> for weapons, also for healing. It's used for all things. <laughs> now, can all all crystals can be used? Just like any person can be used, but some crystals reject negativity, which is good, as you are no different than the crystals on your planet. So, and 
why the Atlantean crystal? Why you don't have large crystals hanging around everywhere? Well, you do, but not like tall as a building just yet, which you can't have. I believe that's what you're working on as you're crystallizing your planet in due time. There's still a lot of darkness, but yes, that will be a future of yours in time. When you actually feel like you need a crystal as large as a building first off. I don't believe that's in the psyche for most people at this time. Yeah, some are not. Some are looking at the third dimensional world, you know, like with the financial system, and want to just continue that because that's where they feel safe there. That's where, that's you know, it's familiar. You have this world. You have finance. You know, different currencies, digital currency. You want to go into. It's familiar, but some of you just want to kick all that out. Yes, and give me my giant crystal building. <clears throat> and there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> now, bringing that crystal building here is a whole other story. <laughs> I don't believe it will happen soon, but you can still, well, there are realities where it does exist. You can't connect to that, which connects you to your parallel reality. Yes. All realities that are in your mind exist now. If you feel like you need it now. Now, if it's like a horror lifetime that you don't want at all, most likely that's a past life. It all depends on the person. <laughs> I'm not saying it's necessary. Now, if, if let me connect to your parallel self, if you feel like it's something you need to expand on, like you feel like I need to connect to another version of me, because I'll answer what you need to figure out here. But it's not necessarily for everybody. You know those parallel versions of you, but you're just kind of figure out your own self. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> it's it's those that have parallel selves because your parallel selves are working, talking to you, trying to get something in your mind. Uh, not necessarily a negative reason, just trying to wake you up. You know, you're talking to each other, and actually, so you go yes, yeah, so you're talking to yourselves. You're it's a it's an interlope timeline, meaning that you have timelines here, but you have timelines. Connected to your parallel self, meaning that your parallel self is connected to this timeline. If you're connecting to that, not. now it's happening already, but some of you just don't need to see it. So you have a main timeline on Earth, but you have all these parallel lifetime timelines that are coming in also. Like you have a version of yourself that's like an architect, for example, and all of a sudden you want to do architecture yourself, or just, or you want to be a writer or some or playwright, whatever. You use that drive from that other version of yourself to put you where you feel like you, is, you know, you, you work with each other. Some of you feel like you're very successful in a past life, or like when you're like five years old, you're like a knew how to play the piano, for example. Um, for example, some of you either have a parallel life doing that now, or you had a past life doing that, but you still feel that high from it. <laughs> And that those are very diff it's different, yeah, because many of you know that there's or or you've been an alien being, always space flights, always space um cadet lifetimes, and you're now here on Earth watching on TV. <laughs> That's why is that happening? The soul is going through yeah, it just is another part of the soul dream here. Uh, you're assisting. It's like many of you actually defended this earth, and now you're here to open it up, bring those adventures here, send it out through yourself. Yes, it's agonizing here, but the world doesn't talk about those things. It doesn't see itself as an alien being getting on a ship and flying somewhere. It watches its own TV. But you're telling it that you can actually have a ship here in your backyard, like you have a car, getting your ship and fly off into space. You're putting that energy here, that energy signature. As for the dinosaur energy, I believe that was all mentioned. The dragons actually find it curious. They test the reptilians because the, the dragons are usually like the parents of reptilian beings. Dragons have been around. They're multi-dimensional. They don't need a spaceship. Some use a spaceship. They feel like that's primitive, but it all depends on the dragon. Sometimes it's fun flying a spaceship, so... But the dragons see what their reptilian family can create. And a dinosaur is part of that. How intelligent they can make it, whatever. I mean, it's all intelligent in the long run. You can everybody has their 
Either way. They want to see what a colorful they can make a dinosaur, what they can do. It's just like having your kid, you know, invent something, like playing with Legos. Something like that. Of course, they do it a little bit more, but I think you have that idea. It's all about creation. And that's what you're here to learn. More how multidimensional you truly are as you, yes, take your current system and, yes, kind of sink it into the ground and create another version of your of your existence here. Nothing to be afraid of. Change is difficult, but some need a ladder. Some of you don't want a ladder. You feel like you can fly. <laughs> some of you feel like, yes, you've, you're ready for a big change, which says get rid of this whole system, all of it, governments, so let's just sink it all. And you're probably the most sane people here right now. <laughs> You might not might feel like you're going insane living the normal life, but you feel like when you see all like an entire world change, you feel like you know, well, everyone's or a good appointment people feel like they're going crazy. You feel like I finally can breathe on this planet. So but you all need each other, of course, for balance on the planet. So